So we got a nice little project here to do today. Um, this is a water to air intercooler. Going to be doing some mods on. I'm going to try to do it in a couple videos. But we got three of these bungs to put on. These holes weren't here and I didn't videotape that, but I had to drill two holes in here without hitting the core. It was kind of tricky. But uh, I just took some electrical tape, put it around a hole saw when I drilled it. But we're going to put these in here and weld them. And then there's one on the other side. And then I got two V-bands to put on it and two pieces of angle, aluminum angle iron. We're going to do that in a different video. We're just going to do these bungs today. But I figured I'd take you guys along. Um, got these holes clean and then wiped all this down with acetone and we're going to weld them out. We'll go over all that here later in the video. But uh, we're going to get it set up, get them tacked in. We're going to weld these two, then flip it over and do the one on the other side. So we're just going to run a 55-54 filler wire on these. Um, this thing's going to get pretty hot, so that's the wire I pick. And then we just got 332 laser, CK laser tungsten, number uh, 6 cup, 20 CFHR gone. No big deal there. Um, something I've made, we got just an old pipe fitting here. I screw in here. This is like a hand prop, seems to help me, and I don't get it real tight. It normally comes out fine, you know, if you give it a second and let it cool down. It doesn't gall in there or anything. Just barely tighten it. So those turned out pretty good. Um, something I didn't mention was I think this is some kind of cast material. When I cut these off and I drilled this, it's real casty looking on the back. I think this piece is just a cast piece and they've MIG welded these on here somewhere, probably overseas. So this, you get a little bit of junk out of here, but it, it, does, it didn't weld bad as you guys can see. I mean, it's pretty clean. Um, and it'll, it'll do fine for what it is. Just one pass, seal it up. Um, we're going to flip it over, put the other bung on there, and then I'll go over all the machine settings with everybody. All 
I'll throw a little bit of pre-eat in this one and see if it helps. So you guys can see there, that, that welded pretty good for being a cast. Um, I mean, you can see here just how rough some of these welds look. Um, you know, I don't know what these things, what this particular unit cost, but you know, that's uncalled for there, but it is what it is. I think this thing has been polished or something. Um, and that's, you know, I'm getting a lot of junk off of here being a cast, and I think they've sanded it and polished it, whatever. But uh, he'll be happy with that. It welded good. Um, the next job we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to take this, clean these up, and then these V-bands will weld on there. So we'll do that there in the next video. We'll get those welded on and done, and then we got some 2-inch angle to throw on the sides of it. But... Uh, I'll show you guys my welder setup and what I use there. I just have this thing setting on my um, motorcycle stand that I used for um, my positioner, and you can adjust it up and down. That's normally how I do these. It works really good. Um, I'm going to be building a couple of these um, out of sheet aluminum here real soon, so I'm going to take you guys along and show you the whole process on me building one of these, what I can show you guys. Some of the stuff is kind of... Um, a little bit of a trade secret, but uh, I can show you guys most of the welding and all that on them. So for the settings on the prime weld, I ended up turning the frequency up to 160, and the balance was at 34, I believe, trying to clean up some of that cast. 
I do have my starting current on this machine pretty high, 155. It seems to start really good there. Um, and then we ran 250 on our, on our amperage. Um, Pre-flow and post-flow the same as I always do. And I ran about 22, 23 CFH is what I ended up running there on a number six cup. But um, yeah, you know, here in the next video, get these cleaned up, we'll get these tacked on. They don't fit very good. There's, you guys can see there's a big gap. That's a piece of eighth inch TIG wire and it falls right in there. So that's gonna be kind of a challenge to weld that and keep these straight. Um, I'll show you guys how I do that. But, uh, but yeah, everybody have a good day and like and subscribe.